there. Today we are going to go over a demo of Dealer Vault, which will be broken into three parts. The first part will start with an overview of the Dealer Vault dashboard, where we'll touch on the main features of Dealer Vault and how to use them. Next, we'll move into a detailed demo of managing your vendor feeds. Finally, we'll deep dive into reporting and field configuration. So let's get started. The first thing you'll see after signing into Dealer Vault is the Dealer Vault dashboard. You'll notice the name of your dealership group and the name of the dealership. Dealer Vault groups all of your dealerships under one group name, and you can click on Change Store to see a list of all of your stores within your dealership group. Next, you'll notice either a green or red bar, which tells you whether or not you've authorized Dealer Vault support to assist you in managing of your feeds. If the bar is green, we've received your authorization and Dealer Vault support can help manage your feeds on your behalf. If the bar is red, that indicates you've chosen to manage your feeds without support assistance. You can always change authorization permissions by clicking on the link shown here. The next thing you'll notice is the pending activities section. What this means is you have pending feed requests out waiting on a vendor or waiting for another call to action. So for this example, you have a feed requested for a vendor and it is waiting on your vendor to approve the request. You can monitor all of your pending activities within this section, including what feed types you've recently requested. You can also decide to cancel the pending request before it even receives approval from your vendor. You can also edit that feed prior to approval, but we'll go more into that in part two of this series. The next important section we'll cover is the current feed section. This section allows you to monitor all of your approved feeds for your store. These are all separated by file type. So as you can see here in this example, your vendor has four different file types that are set up, so they're all listed separately. You can also see the schedule of the feeds. For this example, the first vendor has their delivery on a weekly schedule, where your second vendor is receiving theirs daily. Dealer Vault allows you to monitor and track how frequently your vendors are getting their data. Other details you will find include the first and last time we delivered data to your vendor and how many records were sent in that delivery. One of the most popular and powerful features of Dealer Vault is the ability to immediately deactivate feeds. So, with a simple click of a button, are you sure you want to deactivate this feed? Yes, and it immediately deactivates the feed and will be removed from the table. Once the feed is deactivated, you can click on Show Deactivated Feeds and we'll see that feed listed. Reactivating is just as simple as deactivating, which can be done by clicking the activation icon. Dealer Vault will give you complete control over your data feeds. Down at the bottom of the page, we have the Data Content Summary. This shows you all the file types you have active within Dealer Vault. Having as many file types as possible set up and ready to go makes it really easy for you to activate feeds to current and future vendors. The next column is the DMS column. This tells you what system we're receiving your data from. So for this example, we're receiving your data from your Autosoft system. The last poll date is the last time we received your data. If your data is not current and is a couple of days outdated, that means your data is lagging and we either need you to push a file or we need to receive a new file from your DMS provider. This table allows you to monitor if we have the most recent data that you've sent. Data Start and Data End show us the length of data that we have on file. For Sales and Service, you can see that we have data back to 2009. So if your vendor requires a historical file for their program, we already have it stored in our system to fulfill that requirement. Keydate shows what date the file type uses to indicate the generation of a new record. We've got a lot more to cover, so be sure to watch part two, Managing Your Vendor Feeds.